ocean, beach, and warm weather. Three requirements for a perfect tropical vacation. The island of St. Croix in the U.S. Virgin Islands is the ideal location for a Caribbean getaway. Once here, you will never want to leave. The students and faculty of the University of the Virgin Islands, St. Croix, don't have to. Are you prepared? Is that why it's a problem? They get to enjoy the warm weather all year long. I like the fact that it does get cool, not cold. We get breezes, not wind chill. You know, we do go to the beach and maybe we don't even go in the water because it's too cool. But I never get tired of the, the, the weather. I mean, I love the ocean. I love being near. I love the color of the sea. My daughter's in New York. She's under five inches of snow and I'm saying, sorry, I'm sailing in the British Virgin Islands. Mary Jo Wilder, an English professor at the university, spent 20 years living in the frozen tundra of northern Michigan before moving to St. Croix. But what happens is after you stay here a long time, now it's like 75 degrees, 78 degrees out, and I'm freezing. Even with year-round warm weather, sometimes being at a school on an island that's 28 miles long and 7 miles wide can be a challenge. We get island fever. After you've been on island for a long time, if you don't get off island every couple of months or at least once a year, you go a little crazy. There's nothing to do. We're bored. <laughs> Going to the beach gets boring. Going to college on a tropical island definitely has its ups and downs. But while students in the Fargo-Moorhead region see snow and puddles out their windows, the students of St. Croix get to see blue ocean and colorful sunrises. From the island of St. Croix, Melissa Steffen, Campus News.